are so thrilled and excited to be releasing a new version and the best version of the Roar content management system that you've ever seen or experienced. And if you're like any of the rest of our customers that have been signing up over the last month, uh, month and a half, you came to a screen like this where you had to decide whether you were going to publish just to the Apple world or to the Apple and Android world. The good news is, whether you picked this side or that, it's immaterial to our content management system because for us, we're going to focus on a content management system, or CMS, that lets you push all of this great content to either or both of those platforms. Now, when you think about it, um, a content management system is exactly what it sounds like. It is a system that helps you manage all the different content that you already have. Our expectation is that you have and you're producing lots of great content. Now that doesn't mean that everyone has to have all of this content, but we want to make sure you have access to every bit of content you may want to push through our platform. And now the beautiful thing about this platform is that as you discover more content, as you find places inside your organizations where maybe there's a book club already going on or photos from picnics or other events, you can come, you don't have to have all of the content in order to launch your application. You can come back to the content management system or CMS as often as you like and add more content. Now the CMS will look or feel a little uh, nerve wracking or scary initially because there's so many different forms of content. But all you need to do is focus on one bit of content at a time and start loading in your information. We take that information and we help you publish it out so that your devices can get it and therefore your target audience can get all of your messages, all of your information in the palm of their hand. So what will happen? Well, over the next several days, you'll be getting emails inviting you to come into the CMS. We're doing it based on who signed up and when and all that kind of good stuff. We want to make sure that we can slowly bring more and more people and bring all of you, uh, hundreds of people that signed up over the last month, month and a half, um, to get mobile apps for their organizations. And we're excited about what will happen when your applications get in the palms of all, all the hands of your audience. So with that end, what I want to do is jump into the back end here and take a look at what this content management system looks like. Now, this CMS that you're looking at right now is an early rendition. It's on our engineering hardware. And by the way, I'm one of the engineers here at Roar. My name is Chris, and I'm just going to be walking you through how to get your content prepared, how to find your content that you already have somewhere out on the Internet and how to bring it into our CMS. And so when you get here, you don't need to worry about all these different screens. We'll have a big welcome screen here telling you exactly what to click on so we can remind you. And we'll have all these videos for you. But I want to talk to you about how we get the information in. And, and what I've done is created one of the sample um, items that you have here called sermons. And when we click on sermons, the first thing you're going to notice is there are no sermons found. Now, don't let that freak you out. It doesn't mean that you haven't been preaching or that someone on staff hasn't been preaching. It just means that our CMS isn't aware of it. And every time you get to one of these content items, you're going to notice the name and an add button right next to it. So when we click on the add sermon, you're going to get a screen that will start looking very familiar to you. It'll look familiar because every screen is going to look very similar to it. And that's why we're excited because this is a very easy, um, easy to use and ultimately easy to learn CMS. Now, to do this, what's going to happen is you're going to add a new sermon here. But I want to back up for a second and make sure that we cover some of these terms and, and understand how this works. You do not have to create an entry for every single sermon preached. That means you don't have to create one of these every time someone goes on stage or every Sunday. All you need to do is assemble all of the sermons in a channel somewhere and bring that channel over here. Now, what do I mean by channel? Well, channel's another way to say an RSS feed. Now, that's more technical. And you really don't want to know much about RSS feeds, except to say that RSS feeds are the way in which other websites will collect or assemble all of your video content. So, what does that mean? Well, let's take a look over at Vimeo, a place where many churches post their church sermons. When we come to video, uh, Vimeo, if you were the city church, you might have a hundred different, we'll go to their website and we'll see, look, they got a hundred videos, 
people following them, multiple channels, etc. So let's go and click on the 100 videos. And what you'll see is the newest one starts here, and they just go down the page, and you'll see up to nine different pages of all the content they've been producing. But look below. Right here where it says Related Feed, you'll see City Church videos. And when you click on that link, you're going to get a bunch of text code gobbledygook that you never want to see again. But you don't care about that. What you care about is that URL. That's the URL right there, vimeo.com slash the city slash videos slash RSS. That's the one you want to copy so that when you come back over here, you can put in and hit paste. When you do that, you'd want to check Vimeo and you'd want to name this. You can name it, you know, our Sunday gathering, you know. Now this is going to be all of your Sunday videos. So you're only creating one sermon stream, if you will. But you might have other services or other targeted communities that you're servicing. And as you do that, you may want multiple different sermon streams. And that's what we mean by these sermons. So we're going to come to our favorite button, the publish button. That's the publish button that says we've collected this information. You'll notice it was published and you can view it, but we'll just come back over here to sermons. And when we do, you'll see an entry. Now, if you have a midweek sermon or a, a, a youth service that goes on and you want to create another one, you just click add again from either up here or down over here and you can do it all over again. So that's not a problem. And the reality is the way you add um, video podcasts, audio podcasts, uh, um, Flickr streams of, of photos, it's always the same. You're using these feeds to get your information. But hold on a second. What if you don't have videos at Vimeo? I mean, not everyone has it as easy as that, right? You'll come in and you'll realize, I'm looking around my website and I don't have a little RSS feed, a related feed with the RSS icon. I don't have that on my site. So what do we do? Well, like I said, my name's Chris, and over here I'm at YouTube, and I'm at my channel, Mr. Chris Lemma's channel. And you'll notice I have a lot of different videos here that I've been uploading, mostly educational and all the different commercials we create for some of the different things I work on. And so I want to create a, uh, a RSS feed for this. And the reality is sometimes the YouTube RSS feed or finding that special URL is a little bit of work. So I want to show you a way to do it. This is what it'll ultimately look like. But again, you know, how you're going to type this all in and figure that out, that's a technical job that you don't want to master. So I want to take you somewhere else. This is gdata.youtube.com slash demo. So we'll go gdata.youtube.com slash demo. And then we're going to do index.html. And when we do that, you're going to get to this interactive site. Now, why take you to an interactive site? Well, the beautiful thing about this is you can build that RSS feed. Now, you don't have to worry about a lot of these fields, though some of them are interesting. For example, you can publish targeted formats like mobile videos so that you're not sending large, large files to mobile devices that really aren't going to do anything with it. So that speeds it up a little bit. So you could do that if you want. You'll notice as I'm clicking these that it is going to change. Look down here in this resulting URL. Look at what happens when I click this button. It changes. And the most important part is when I type my author name. Now this is the person who's uploading all of the, the videos to your YouTube channel. But when you do that, what you'll notice is I click somewhere else. Here is my URL, right? And when I get that URL, I can come back over here, put it in. I get my information and that's the one I want to bring over. So if I had to create another one called our youth mid week services, I could come over here, click that there, pick YouTube and hit publish. And when you do that, you will now have two sermon streams, right? That'll show up on the mobile device. They'll be named this. In other videos, we'll show you how to add fancier stuff like icons and, and photos to go with them. And there's a lot of stuff you can do back here. We don't want to overwhelm you as you start getting ready. But what we do know is this. You probably have a lot of content out there. 
you probably have photos at Flickr, and you may have book lists on Amazon, and you may already have RSS feeds for some of the blogs that your pastors or other key staff have written about. You may already have events in some sort of calendar. You may have audio and video streams of those places. And because you have all that information, one of the first things you need to do is go get those RSS feeds. And we wanted to show you how to find those, particularly for video, um, but how to find them for all these kind of content so that when you come back into this back end, you'll be able to start adding sermons and all the other items that you'll find here on the left side, which actually is going to be a whole lot. Um, at the very end, we'll show you how you publish it. There's a mobile publisher. We'll actually put it on the screen. And when you click on that publish button, all the information will come up to our engines. It'll push it all out to all your devices and you'll be on your way. And all of your information will be in the palm of your customer's hands. We're excited. We can't wait to get you in here. Um, and we hope that you start pulling all the different data together so that you can be ready as we get send you out your email to invite you into our new Roar CMS. Thanks a lot.